Guys, welcome to a very special episode of TFL Truck because here I have not one but two all new 2022 Ford Maverick pickups. And in this video, I'm gonna show you hands on the difference between the most affordable and the most fuel efficient 40 MPG in the city Maverick hybrid versus the first edition, the most option truck. So let's dig in and find out what makes them different and also makes them special. This right here also happens to be the most affordable little pickup in the United States. Starting price is $19,995 before destination charges. And here's what you get. A crew cab, a four door little trucklet on steelies. It's a front wheel drive platform with a CVT and I'll show you the hybrid powertrain in a second. But here you get 17 inch wheels, nice beefy pro contact continental tires and a little truck that can carry about 1500 pounds of payload onto your next adventure okay but what happens if you want a more luxurious interior more options more power and all-wheel drive capability well you get this this is the first edition which is very special i'll show you that in a second but you do get these 17 inch wheels nice wild peak tires tunnel cover and the rest let me show you what an assortment of interesting boxes and these come from our friends at Bespoke Post. Now, it is a monthly membership organization, but you don't have to pay a dime to join. What you do is you fill out a little survey and every month you get a box of amazing stuff. Outdoor gear, survival gear, fishing gear, kitchen gear, bar gear, and more. And the cool part is, if you don't want it, you don't have to get it. That's right, you can either keep the box, swap it with a different box, or skip that month's box entirely for absolutely no charge. Each box represents at least a $70 value, but it costs only $45. And you can get a 20% discount on your first box. Head to the link below and use the code TFLTRUCK20 to learn how to get 20% off your first box. Since the COVID crisis began, Bespoke Post has spent over $53 million working with small businesses making high quality goods like these in order to keep them going and to keep these boxes going. So what makes a pickup truck a pickup truck? Well, actually it's capability. In this case, on this hybrid, I was actually wrong. It has even more payload than I thought. 1,563 pounds because this is a base, base model of the truck. Let me show you the bed. Let's look at the business end right here. This is not damped, but this is a very affordable truck. This is a steel bed construction. You can put an entire payload in here if you really wanted to. And this is a four and a half foot bed. It's not bed lined. Once again, this is the base, base model, but it does come with this. So it has at least four connection tie down points, two here in the back, two up front over there. And it has very special features that I haven't seen before. If you're looking to modify your truck and add accessories to it, Ford is making it easier by providing a 12 volt connection point right here. So if you want bed lights, additional equipment, maybe an air compressor, something like this, it's right here provided for you. Yes, this little truck is meant for an active lifestyle or even for home improvement. As such, you can easily take this tailgate cable, move it up higher. Now the tailgate sits a little bit higher and it matches the height of the wheel wells. So now you can put an eight by four or a four by eight sheet of plywood here. And they say this can handle about 500 pounds of weight. So you can put maybe up to 18 sheets of material and also tie it down right here on this little tie down point on the tailgate that doubles as a bottle opener. All right, now let's transition to a Maverick that basically has nearly every option. I'll explain in a minute. Once again, this is not damped, but you can see now the tailgate is bedlined, the bed is bedlined, and it has this tunnel cover, which is basically an option, but makes this first edition just very, very nice and clean. And it's very easy to use. These right here are just spring-loaded handles, and it reveals this. Here's our stuff, you can kind of tell about as much stuff as you can put in here a couple of backpacks carry-on bags and now let me show you the rest of this bed because this is quite interesting by the way the final sticker price on this truck right here the way you see equipped is just over thirty six thousand dollars but for that money you double the number of your tie down points actually more than double so now you have additional tie downs up here lower and upper same thing up there now you have 
a floor tie down right here. It's a D-ring. And Ford says a lot of these tie down points, they test it to the same standards that test all of their trucks to, like the Ford Super Duty. So about what a thousand pounds of pull strength on each tie down. Then you have this track system with this cleat and you can use this rail system to mount your own accessories or just create your own adventurous vehicle maybe a little rack system um, they're also going to offer a cab a topper a bed topper here but there's nothing to say that you couldn't build your own little camping machine back here by the way these qr codes right here if you scan it it actually sends you to a ford page which has some videos with ideas on how to build different things like a bike rack or a bike mounting solution in the back but in here there's actually a little cubby but that's not all it has a false floor so you pull this out and now you can put some taller items back here yeah this is quite neat there's the floor coming in here and then this cover going on top of it and just to top it off here on the driver's side there is a bed light and also a 400 watt 120 volt outlet this is the maximum output that maverick currently offers so if you're looking for more wattage you may have to bring a separate generator all right let's look under the hood of this hybrid so right here first of all i need to put a little prop stick in here and this is 2.5 liters of goodness so this engine runs on an atkinson cycle which means basically it's running in a little bit more efficient fashion and it's connected to an electronically controlled cvt continuously variable transmission and of course there's an electric motor in there as well and a high voltage battery and this all combines for that magical 40 mpg in the city on the highway it's going to get slightly less efficiency because you're kind of pushing through the air at higher speeds but in the city where you can slow down regen some energy and then accelerate again uh, at lower speeds that's where it's going to be the most efficient but you can only have it with front wheel drive rear wheel drive is not available on the hybrid if you need that you got to go turbo here in the back of the hybrid you can see the rear axle and it's got coil springs and up there you can also see the fuel tank right there and of course the exhaust system so this is the only way you can get a maverick if you get a hybrid uh, once again front wheel drive only and also in the hybrid the battery the 12 volt not the high voltage one but the regular battery is underneath the passenger rear so here it is nice and cuddly inside but you're losing some storage space on this side with the hybrid the maximum towing capacity is 2,000 pounds but back here i want to show you the hitch and the wiring with the turbocharged first edition two inch receiver standard four pin trailer connector standard 2,000 pound capability also if this was a 4,000 pound towing package which is also available this would also have a seven pin connector here and also a trailer brake controller but as such right here right now it can tow about 2,000 pounds not bad so let's look at this two liter power plant the EcoBoost here you can see this rapid red color once again and first edition decals and yes it says first edition a thousand times so you really know it's special here once again a prop stick and under here this is a two liter turbocharged engine that's made it to a traditional eight speed automatic 250 horsepower 277 pound feet of torque you can have it as front wheel drive only or also all wheel drive and of course 4000 pound tow rating can be had with both enough on the outside let's look on the inside and here in the XL model which is the base model once again this is basically the interior you will find including this color pattern which is mostly black and gray and a little bit more gray but let me show you some of the cool details it has a basic Ford key and here in the base model you actually put it into ignition to start so let's do it because it's really hot and I need air conditioning when thinking about the interior just think the Maverick is just about as roomy as a Ford Fusion sedan and here in the steering wheel it's actually very adjustable I can get very comfy I'm just over 6'2 I can actually use the manual seat adjustment and go all the way back <laughs> actually that's too far and move forward 
and get really comfy. And then there's the gauges. Here you see the gauges are very, very basic and good and clear but here is the hybrid indicator you can kind of see when it's recharging how much power you're using and it says ready because of course i turned it on and here it also is telling me the current status my fuel efficiency uh well actually the trip information and distance to empty uh, this truck has about 13.8 gallon fuel tank and at 40 ish miles per gallon you can go a long ways all Mavericks come with this 8-inch diagonal screen. Here in the base model, uh, it's very simple and it's relying actually on your phone. <laughs> it's relying on your phone for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto in wired mode. And down here, here you can actually put your phone in this little holder. Um, in the more premium models I'll show you soon, there's a wireless charger here. But you could always take this out, clean it, put it back in the climate control system is right here it's also very basic and manual but what more do you need fan speed temperature control and direction you use a rotary dial to control your transmission from drive to neutral to reverse and park and also kind of a low gearing situation for slower speeds this is your parking brake of course all Mavericks come with five modes depending on trim they may be different and of course traction control system on or off and the hand net waves not sure what that is and guys i want to interrupt my excel versus lariat comparison to show you this the xlt and also show some of the interior features so let's check it out each trim level excel xlt or lariat has their own unique interior trim and accents for example this xlt has this navy blue top this kind of granite insert here in the door and orange trim throughout this includes the seats but this is the cool part they designed the door cards to be able to f fit these larger bottles upright and i'll show you that on the other side as well here's the other door just for demonstration purposes a different title type of bottle fits straight up in here and it also fits kind of snug so it does not going to pop out and it's kind of a bigger mug right there can kind of fit straight up in there or let me show you the center console the center console is designed this way so it's a little bit low so even if you put a mug like this here in the cup holder you can still have access to the front storage cubby and this could be either a wireless phone charger or also stand-up phone holder and of course the shifter is on this side so there's still a lot of space here which is pretty cool the rear door is much of the same except it has a little bit more space here's why here you still have room for large bottles straight up but there's no more speaker here the speaker is actually relocated from the door into the c pillar so there's a little bit more space in here for additional items and here's another feature that's very simple yet super super useful ford will provide something like this these are actually 3d printed accessories like a trash can and look they have all common for the maverick little hook so you can put the trash can here in the center you can remove it you can install a cup holder extra cup holders you can remove it or you can take this little trash can and actually store it underneath your rear seat right there it has the same attachment point and it stores away out of sight out of mind now let's take a look inside of this luxurious lariat edition first edition the key is a little bit different still very familiar ford key with remote start then push button start it's down here not on the column you could still adjust the steering wheel very nicely and this has the latest ford copilot 360 technologies so you have adaptive cruise you have lane keep assist um, your volume controls all your menu controls on this side leather wrapped steering wheel and the gauges with a digital screen right there in the center so yes a huge difference but a big price difference as well this one remember costs almost sixteen thousand dollars more than the other one this lariat edition maverick has a very unique dash design you can kind of see this angular pattern here this is of course on purpose it's got bronze finish it's got exposed screws that say ford on them so very unique and special right there 
and of course as you saw in the video giant pockets in the doors for storing your bottles automatic climate control system heated seats heated steering wheel all there and then down here check it out this lariat edition also has a little window in the back little slider pickup truck style This premium Maverick also has a premium stereo system, B&O right there. Sunroof is of course included in this first edition. It's also power openable, of course. It's not a panoramic roof though. All right, let's see, how do I fit in the back seat of the Maverick? I'm sitting behind myself in this Lariat first edition Actually, not bad. My knees are barely touching. My head is not touching. Wow, I'm surprised actually. Here I have cup holders, armrest. Yeah, actually, this is not bad even for a longer trip. And I also have charging here, USB, USB-C, and 400 watt, 120 volt outlet. All right, this wouldn't be TFL truck if I didn't go underneath the truck. Uh, here you see a different orientation. Um, you have, of course, a differential here, sending power to the rear on both sides using these half shafts. Um, of course, independent suspension, coil springs, and also you can get the Maverick in an FX4 package. This is not it though. This first edition is not it. But the FX4 package adds you or gives you a few more skid plates underneath for protection same ride height different tires different suspension tuning but this is pretty much what the underneath looks like so here's the biggest question of them all which one would i pick would i pick the affordable hybrid which is very efficient or would i go this way with a turbocharged engine and all-wheel drive uh, after thinking about it i'm gonna go this way all-wheel drive i get off-road ability potentially with the FX4 package, I get up to 4,000 pounds of towing, still really great payload. And yes, I do think it's a pickup truck. It does have a bed, has great payload, and also very, very good towing. Well, at least for very, very small trailers. As always, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real world Ford Maverick reviews.